license for it? Hey everybody, this is Chris. Welcome to an episode of Getting It Done. This is where we talk about the things that we know that we need to get done. We, we might be procrastinating a little bit. The specific thing I want to talk about today is getting that FAA remote pilot's license. That's the part 107 license to fly your drone commercially. Now, I purchased my Mavic Pro 2 a whole year ago, and I just got my license a month ago. Why was that? Because I procrastinated. See, I heard the test was a little hard and I got a little bit intimidated, busy at the time. I think I don't have time to really study for that test. It might take a month to study. And I kind of cheated myself out the whole process because I could have been making money with my drone over the last past year, gaining clients and so forth. So that's why I want to talk about getting it done because guess what I did? Over a month ago, I registered, I found the study guide, I took the test, passed it, all within seven days of each other. So I wanna talk about a five-step process that I use to do all of that within seven days to get my FAA remote pilot's license so I can fly my drone commercially and I can cha-ching make that money. You guys with me? five-step process. Let's do it. Step number one, obtain an FAA tracking number, which is FTN for short. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website and let's go ahead and go to this website together. All right, type in the website, which is iacra.faa.gov forward slash IA C R A forward slash login dot ASPX. And here we go. To the right, you want to click here to register so that you can register for your FTN number. And the first line item is applicant. You are registering as an applicant. All right, so you scroll down, you agree, accept the terms, and you are ready to rock and roll. You want to input your personal information in. Then you want to answer the security questions. Then you proceed to create a username and password. Then you click on register. So now you will receive an email that will be your LTN number. That email will contain your LTN number. That's your FAA number. You are able to now schedule for the test, which leads us to step two. Time to schedule for that test, folks. And here is the website where you're going to go schedule for your test. But before we do that, you might be thinking to yourself, I am not ready to take the test. Let me tell you something. It's best to go ahead and get scheduled because that's going to compel you to, to proceed to get ready to take the test. All right. Don't be afraid because it really only takes seven days to prepare. I scheduled for this test and seven days later, I actually took it and passed it. So I completed the whole process, the whole five-step process in seven days. You can do it too. So let's proceed. So you want to go to the website, which is faa.psiexams.com forward slash faa forward slash login. And then... We are ready to rock and roll. Now, first thing you can do is view test authorization requirements. And the only requirement really is to have a valid ID when you show up. And your driver's license, of course, is sufficient. That will work. Now you are ready to create an account. So to create that account, you're gonna use the FTN number that you got. And this is gonna allow you to create a new account where you can begin to schedule for your test. You can schedule within seven days or you can schedule for the future, but go ahead and get scheduled. Now for step number three, study for your test. Now understand this, the FAA provides you with all you need to know 
to pass the test on their website. So we go to faa.gov UAS forward slash commercial underscore operators and you're up and running. Now you can scroll down a little bit and click on 14 CFR part 107 and this gives you everything you need to know. You can go link by link and study and this is everything you need to know to study for the test. Now if you want a nice juicy study guide just go back and you're gonna scroll down you're gonna click on knowledge test suggested materials then click on knowledge test study guide and this is a nice awesome study guide so what I want to do now is talk about what's going to be on the test. One of the biggest things that you're going to see on this test is L space classification. You need to know this because you need to know when and where you can fly this drone. Okay, that's extremely important. You must be in compliance when flying your drone. So study very well about air space classification very important and it's really good stuff then the other thing that you're going to want to study you're going to want to study aviation weather sources very important as well key thing that you want to key on is METAR what is, the, what is a METAR report I wonder if I'm saying that right METAR or META I think it's META but what is a META report M-E-T-A-R that's extremely important and a TAF report TAF. Make sure you study those things. As well as study the effects of weather on small unmanned aircraft performance. Extremely important. So this is a really great study guide that you can go through. And the 2021 ruling on remote ID as well as the 2021 ruling on flying over people. Now you can also purchase third-party study modules. The one I purchased was from Drone Pro Academy. It's a part 107 boot camp. I paid $47 for it. It was well worth the purchase. Now you are ready to go and take and pass that darn test. So let's go. That's step four. Now once you pass your test, you will receive a document showing your score and a passcode. Congratulations. You passed the test. That takes you to step five. Register to receive that license. So you're going to want to take that passcode that you got and go to this website right here. Let's go to it. Type in A-I-A-C-R-A dot F-A-A dot G-O-V forward slash I-A-C-R-A forward slash D-E-F-A-U-L-T dot A. S P X and you want to use the username and password that you initially set up to get your FTN number to log in. Once you're logged in, all you have to do is insert the passcode. Then the next step would be the FAA will perform a background check that takes normally seven to 10 business days, sometimes shorter. Then you will receive an email letting you know that you can log back into the website to download your temporary license that will expire in around 120 days. But within two weeks of that, you will receive in the mail your actual FAA license. Congratulations, you completed the process. You got your FAA license. You're feeling good about yourself. It only took you seven days. You went through the five step process. The first step was obtaining the FAA tracking number. The second step was scheduling the test. The third step was studying for the test. The fourth step was taking the test and passing it. And the last and final step was registering for your license. You are a remote license pilot drone operator. You pass your part 107. Congratulations. You are ready to rock and roll. You can use your drone to make money. You can do your YouTube videos and get monetized and not have to worry about the FAA coming after you. You are ready to rock and roll. You just got it done. This is Chris with Getting It Done. Thanks for watching and 
feel free to like and subscribe and leave some comments and let me know what you think about the video. Give me some input. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.